Beginning in the late 17th century, there was a cultural movement of intellectuals who is now referred to as the Age of Enlightenment. Their purpose was to reform society using reason, to challenge ideas grounded in tradition and faith and to advance knowledge through the scientific method. It promoted scientific thought, skepticism and intellectual interchange. The Enlightenment was at the time a revolution in human thought. In 1776, a German philosopher, Johann Adam Weishaupt, formed a secret society in the state of Bavaria in Germany named the Order of the Illuminati. But only a few years later, in 1785, the order was infiltrated and suppressed by government agents of the newly elected ruler, Charles Theodore. He saw the increasing popularity of these secret societies such as the Illuminati as a threat that could potentially overthrow the Bavarian monarchy. Since then, it's not known what actually happened to the group which had allegedly amassed over 2,000 members all across Europe. In the years to come and to this day, there have been several claims and of course conspiracy theories that the Illuminati still exists, that they are behind such events as the French Revolution and the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Many also believe that they have infiltrated governments across the globe and that they are controlling and manipulating world events, supposedly to create a new world order with a global government in control of all of humanity. But as stated, there is no evidence that the Bavarian Illuminati survived its suppression in 1785. Today, there are quite a few organizations that claim to be the real Illuminati. None of them have any proof, of course, so you would have to take their word for it. Unlike the original Bavarian Illuminati who tried to remain a secret society, these modern iterations are not afraid of making their existence very public, websites and social media alike. Often they do so for the sole purpose of attracting new members. The group started out with only five members in 1776 and the plan was for the five of them to use a unique moniker instead of their full names. Weishaupt became Spartacus and the other four were nicknamed Ajax, Agathon, Tiberius and Erasmus Rotterdamus and they preferred to be called the Perfectibilists rather than Illuminati. It's interesting that today the Illuminati is almost synonymous with conspiracy theory and that they are often depicted in various forms of media as a group that lurks in the shadows and pulls the strings behind the scenes, so to speak. Because the reason the Illuminati was formed in the first place was to oppose superstition, religious influence over public life and, most ironically, abuse of state power. Abuse of state power. The very ideas they were against in the beginning are what we claim they are behind today. So what makes the Illuminati so special? Because as I mentioned there were many other secret societies at the time and they were all shut down and disbanded in 1785. Well, the reason for this can be credited to a few fictional books and I guess a little bit of luck. As early as 1798, a book titled Proofs of a Conspiracy was published with the theory that the Illuminati had survived and represented an ongoing international conspiracy. The book proved to be very popular at the time, but after a few decades of speculation, the theory died down. It wasn't until over a century later that the fictional book series titled The Illuminatus Trilogy brought the theories back to life. However, some people believe the books to actually be true, and ever since the conspiracy theories about the Illuminati has grown more popular than ever before. On a less serious note, if you go to itanimuli.com, which is Illuminati spelled backwards, it will redirect to the NSA website. Must be a conspiracy. Nope, turns out it was just a guy from Utah who purchased the domain and redirected it to the NSA. Or was it? Maybe I'm making fun of this only to deflect from the fact that everything you've heard about the Illuminati is true. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Yeah, I'm definitely kidding. This is not true at all. Or am I? Yeah, yeah, I'm kidding, okay? It's move on. Or was it? What? 
The name Illuminati comes from the Latin word Illuminatus, which means enlightened. Illuminati can also be used as a word and would then mean a group claiming superior enlightenment on a particular subject, especially religion. But I seriously doubt you will have much use of that word in everyday life. So when the Illuminati disbanded, what happened to Weishaupt? Well, he actually managed to flee the state of Bavaria and lived out his life in the city of Gotha. I, I don't think I'm saying that right. Before his death in 1830, he wrote a series of works on Illuminism, but other than that, he was never involved with anything relating to the Illuminati again. If you've heard about Illuminati before, it's very likely you've seen this symbol time and time again. It's usually referred to as the Eye of Providence or simply the All-Seeing Eye. And if you're from the US, you probably see it every day as it's on the back of the $1 bill. But this is in fact not a symbol of the Illuminati. No, they use a symbol or logo, if you will, called the Owl of Minerva. So why is this symbol so strongly associated with the Illuminati? Well, we don't really know how it happened or who was the first to use it in that way, but it's pretty easy to see why. Many religions past and present have used the image of an eye to represent God or some sort of higher power. One of the earliest known examples is the Eye of Horus, an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection and royal. Power. So given the original symbolism behind the eye and that the Illuminati is often portrayed as watching our every move, it seems quite fitting. But then there's the pyramid. It has nothing to do with God or higher power and everything to do with the United States. Because the pyramid has 13 steps which represents the original 13 colonies. How you get that to mean Illuminati, I don't know. But conspiracy theorists, uh, finds a way. Oh, well, there it is. So let's talk about these conspiracy theories we hear so much about. What is it exactly that some people believe that the Illuminati does? For example, some believe that Weishaupt traveled to the US after the Illuminati was banned in Bavaria and killed George Washington before taking his place as an imposter. As such, the portrait seen on the $1 bill is said to actually be Weishaupt. And while you could say that he has slightly similar features, I, I give you that. Everyone looked like this back then. Even so, to believe that George Washington could just be replaced without anyone noticing is, well, quite retarded to say the least. We're talking real life here with actual people, not some sort of comic book universe where a pair of glasses equals I'm a completely different person. Yes, Superman, we all know it's you. This is of course just one of thousands of theories out there. Others include that the Illuminati is behind 9-11, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, that they faked the moon landings, and more recently that many celebrities and famous people such as JC, Queen Elizabeth, Beyonce among others are all part of the Illuminati. But the most common theory regarding the Illuminati is something called the New World Order. The premise is that they have infiltrated governments, politicians, corporations and other key roles in society to eventually take control of the world to form a totalitarian global government. If we're going to get really extreme, many also believe that they're somehow connected to the Nazis, that they are the embodiment of Satan and yeah, we're, we're not gonna follow Alice further down the rabbit hole. There's just just way too much convoluted speculation and opinions surrounding all of this and quite frankly in the end it's gonna be up to you what you want to believe. Oh and before you go don't forget to check out All Time Conspiracies. They also made a video about the Illuminati over on their channel. But what does it mean? Is all of this just a mere coincidence? Or is it in fact a secret message from our favorite pop stars? Are Kanye, Keisha, Lady Gaga, Drake and Jay-Z all trying to tell us something? Something that we shouldn't know about the darker side of the music industry? In 2009, Kanye West